Around a year ago, I posted an iceberg detailing common and obscure facts about Scarlet. In this video, I'll be explaining each layer with some included facts. With that out of the way, let's begin with layer 1. Heart Attack is Scarlet's most popular song, sitting 96 million views during the recording of this video. Dead Desert. That Desert is a single from Trippy Red's album, Neon Shark vs Pegasus. Funny enough, many edits to the song were made, removing Trippy Red for his repetitive verse, and then removing Trippy Red and Scholar, leaving only Zillakami. Mazimaz. Before donning the mask and being who we all know as Scholar, he used to be a fairly decent sized YouTuber named Mazimaz. Hey, it's Maz, go to the white chin, and you know what today is. I don't. Why is it like Thursday, Wednesday, Friday? I don't fucking know. Rebels of his old videos can still be found on the channel Lord Fam, with the later miscreators as well. I wasn't aware of him during this era, but watching his old videos is still pretty entertaining. West side. Gina. Gina Savage is Scholar's partner, known for her... Uh... Modeling? Yeah... Modeling. I think. Myth City. Myth City is a band in which Scholar was the lead vocalist, releasing songs such as The Vendetta <laughs> Doom Life. Doom Life is a clothing brand founded by Scarlord that provide a unique style, encapsulating Scarlord's honesty, expression, and vibrant energy. But you know a lot of it's pretty pricey. 150 for this fucking vest. Morris Lucas Eternal Lesser Off. God, I really hope I said that right. This is Scarlet's full government name. And that's all of Layer 1, mainly well known facts. Moving on to Layer 2 with slightly lesser known facts. Zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, zero is a number often referenced by Scarlet. With some quick surface level searching, zero, zero, zero is an angel number representing entering a new phase of your life. Deep. Sam Pepper. Oh, I really don't like this guy. During the Mazzy Mass era of Scarlet's career, he was well friends with Sam Pepper. How'd you first meet Sam? How'd you me guys first? Sam, we met. Well, I didn't mean Sam met. Um, I was on a date with his mom, and um, <laughs> she's a lovely woman, oh, Mrs. Pepper. Absolutely amazing woman. Um, but yeah, we were on a date, and uh, um, she introduced me to Sam, and I was like, "How you doing?" Ever since then, we've been really good friends, <laughs> buddies, <laughs> real best buddies. Recording many videos and even songs together, even reuniting back in 2018. Mr. SK. Mr. SK is one of Scholar's main graphic designers, creating the cover art for Doom all the way up to Doom 2, not including Scar Hours, which is pretty obvious. I mean, you got all these amazing looking 3D render designs, and then you just have this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Muppy. Muppy is one of Scholar's main producers, helping create a lot of his most popular songs to this date. Akon Wallace. Akon is Scholar's brother. He's an MMA fighter. For those that don't know who my brother is, he will explain to you what he does for a living. For a living, I like to eat Jaffa cakes. Now tell him what you actually do. Punch people in the face for a living. Okay, he's really modest and nice about it. This is what he does. Okay, so this is you. Looking at you silky smooth, looking dipped in butter. You have no tattoos, so you're clean as fuck. Look at- oh, there you go, get that squat on. He looks like he has a house in jail. This motherfucker looks like he's from the 300 film. This nigga look grown as fuck. This nigga would scare the shit out of Bane. Okay, here we go. Akon, I'm praying for you, praying, praying for you, praying for you. you and praying? I'm praying for him. Jesus Christ, wow. Fucking two seconds in the fight, you're not gonna let the man breathe? He was even sponsored by Doom Life. I do find it funny how he's collaborated with Hudson, another... Techware brand, which I would imagine is competitor of Doom Life. Like, ah, uh, shit, guys, we can't get Scully to promote our brand. Ah, uh, don't worry, it's fine. We got his brother to promote our brand. <laughs> Dano Earth. Daniel is Scholar's cameraman, recording a lot of his music videos. Fun fact, he has been Scholar's cameraman and friend since the Mazzy Maz era. I'm rolling. I'm rolling. Okay, okay, let me pull the track up. You should roll that tape. It was, man, and this was gonna be even better. Jackie P. Jackie P is his best friend and personal DJ, being in every one of his shows and even vlogging the journey, which you can find on his channel. Layer 3. 
Taka Lord. Taka Lord is one of Skull Lord's oats, where he released an album titled Practice, having boom bop trap metal music. I I honestly don't know how else to describe it. I mean, you take a listen. Funny enough, an imposter tried recreating this project under a different name, Van Lord. Many people did think this was Skullard to the point where his girlfriend had to publicly call him out. Jamaican Adlib Origins Skullard often uses the same Jamaican samples in his songs to either start a song or switch to a new verse. Lost Songs There are many unreleased songs with only snippets to go off of, such as many of the snippets from Fantasy Void. <laughs> Sprinkles. Sprinkles is another one of Skullard's alt, releasing an album titled One. I, I could not even begin to describe the type of music on this album. I mean, take a listen. Lucas Hector. Lucas Hector is another one of Scholar's oats, releasing an album titled Heavenfire, with track titles suggesting this was Scholar at the time, such as Marius Are You Bond, Scholar often comparing himself to James Bond, The Mind of Scar, Gina Hold My Hand, and The Heart of Akon, Akon being his brother. And as the album's name would apply, it features very heavenly music. I mean, my god. Sample Origins As well as to make an ad lib, Scholar often samples bits from old movies and animes, many of which are hard to track down the origins of. <laughs> Boy, was he scared! You can trust my discretion! <laughs> it won't be so funny if he calls the cops. What? Lord Radio During the release of Immortalization, Scholar uploaded lyric videos with the theme of Lord Radio, which I funny enough tried continuing. Ox Playlist the Ox Playlist is a playlist created by Scholar featuring Scream Free songs, which has some of my personal favorites and most underrated songs. There's also another place for Scholar titled Selected by Scholar, with songs from City Marge and Ghost Main to. Taylor Swift in Young Lean. Nice. Throwaways. Throwaways' promise is an EP released only on SoundCloud featuring cut songs for immortalization. Therefore, No Way. No Way is a collaboration between Scholar, Zoda, and OM, currently sitting at 3 million views. Adidas Club. There's this image of Mazimaz posing next to an advertisement for Adidas, with him as the model. Not much more information is known about this apart from this one image. There's multiple obscure songs by Scholar, such as Mood. <laughs> Muppy collabs. Scholar has done a few collabs with Muppy, such as Breakdown, Air, and a return collaboration, Two Ways to Die. Beerus and Champ. Beerus and Champ are Scholar's two hairless cats, even featuring his music video Living Legend. They're named after the two characters from Dragon Ball. Love for North Face and Nike. Scholar wears a lot, and I mean a lot, of North Face and Nike products, going as far as naming a song Nike Face. Teased collabs. There is so many collaborations Scholar has teased, such as with Corpse, Jazea, and Murata. It is to know Scholar only does collaborations with American artists, not including Muppy, as he has yet to reach mainstream status in the US, unlike his status in the UK. This is why he's done collaborations with Trippy Red, Ghost Mane, Zilla Kami, and Lil Durky, and now with other UK artists such as Bat Lad. Layer 5 Billy Billy is a sperm tattoo on Scholar's forearm. 
All right then, so we'll start at the most important and meaningful tap. Like this tap, like is, it's everything to me. And you know, uh, since I got it, like my life has changed so much. It's this sperm right here. His name's Billy. <laughs> one Direction. A apparently, Scholar has met One Direction. There's not much to it, but that. Chainsaw original cover. It wasn't known, but Chainsaw has an alternative art cover as well as King Scar. But that was only for the promotion of it being released on CSGO as a music kit. Doom 2 leak. Doom 2 was leaked prior to its original release. Deleted tweets. Scholar had plenty of tweets on his Twitter before deleting them all. Unlisted videos. There's many unlisted videos in Scholar's channel of old music and other visualizers. Correction. There was many unlisted videos, but it seems he's private them all, Sally. Drake. Scholar may have an obsession with the Canadian artist Drake from naming his album Score Hours, a clear reference to Drake's Scary Hours, referencing him in a few songs and about his love for him in old Mazzy Maz videos. Drake's a pretty popular guy. Redemption is probably my favorite song on Views. Really good song. It reminds me a lot of m m my own circumstances, I guess. I can relate to that song. Bars are pretty on point. It's a nice sound. Was listening to it a lot yesterday. I saw us making a song called Look Dead, reusing the instrumental from Drake's Look Alive. Infinity physical copies. When the physical copies for Infinity first released, they had multiple typos. My Infinity vinyl even has some typos. Lair 6. Internet Kid. Internet Kid is Scholar's first ever released album. X Sample. Scholar samples a quote from late XXX Tashion during the beginning of his song 3X. Unreleased music videos. There's many unreleased music videos, from songs from Lord Season to Remodelization. Scar Weeks. Scholar has had an ongoing trend of releasing songs with the titles following the days of the week. Banana Outfit. Scholar used to have a banana outfit that he always wore in his old videos. I always wondered what happened to it. Cameron Azzy. Scholar and Cameron Azzy were meant to have plenty of songs released together, but apparently had a falling out. I can't find any other information on this apart from this Reddit thread, so take it with a grain of salt. Bart Bar Bart Baker. Bart ba Bart Baker. Bart Baker. Scarlet has an appearance in an old Bart Baker parody video. What the hell is wrong with you crazy crackers? SoundCloud hack. Scholar's SoundCloud was hacked a while ago, changing the producer credits in his songs and reposting others' music as well. As well as causing his account to unfollow all 200 people he used to follow. One of the people he followed from what I remember and found pretty interesting was Black Sand, a very underground and underrated member of the Minute Society, appearance on a BBC show. Scholar made an appearance on episode 5 of Stupid Man Smartphone. He's also made appearances on other shows such as Prank vs. Prank and Janoski and Takeover. Well, that concludes the iceberg.